Hi guys, I'm going to show you today how to practice with the metronome. Now if you're not familiar, metronome is basically a pace setter or a beat keeper. And a lot of people are very afraid of them. I recommend a digital metronome. They're a lot more accurate, battery powered, smaller, accessible, portable, all that fun stuff. But today we're going to be looking at this metronome here, which I've had since the third grade. And um, it's, you may recognize it from the movie Seven, if you ever saw that one. Um, but basically what it does is you wind it up, you move the thing, and it clicks annoyingly until you stop it. Um, and I can show you how to practice with it. So generally, we practice rhythm, chords, strumming, uh, even uh, scales, stuff like that. So I'm going to run through a few things, like some strumming rhythms and how to practice with it. So you basically want to let the metronome keep time for you. So I'm going to get this started. And I'm going to play a little song. See here, I was keeping right along with the metronome. And what you can do is you can figure out a tempo where you can play something comfortably, practice it there, and then once you've gotten that down, you move the bar down and it goes faster. So that's how you can practice chords with the metronome. Here's how you can practice scales. Or you can double time it. Etc. It's only a matter of time before it gets on your nerves and drives you crazy. But what it does do is it really helps out your rhythm. And allows you, actually the best thing a metronome does is it allows you to use an external device to set the time. And what that means is when you play with a drummer, you'll be locked in with them a lot more. Which means you're not keeping time, the drummer's keeping time, or the metronome's keeping time. Thanks for watching. That's how you can use a metronome with your practicing.